Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, a randomized series where everything's made up on the fly. It's great. Um, and it's all improv. Uh, last we left. <laughs> like this intro. Also, yeah. Also, Doug is still not here. Very sad. Um, but he's in our hearts. He's in a better place. <laughs> so, last we left off, uh, the party. Um, Anos. Okay, we'll start with Anos. Uh, got locked into a uh, black market, essentially, inside a mountain by Mewguin. Um, but turns out it wasn't all that bad because he received his payment for the contract. He got what he needed, and he got himself back through another doorway in the same mountain. Um, while that was happening, however, uh, Nifan, Sora, and Mia Gwen all met up with <laughs> Gavin uh, to complete but kind of not complete their original quest that he gave them, which was to retrieve dragon's blood for him so he could fix the city. Um, that, was so, that was so humiliating how poorly we did that. <laughs> they took uh, for a nice good chunk of time to discuss and really get into the details of if they should give him the blood or not. Eventually leading Nifan to just say, screw it sneak away from the group, and hand a random bottle <laughs> over to uh, Gavin, which indeed was the dragon's blood. You couldn't even do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, uh, he then escorted the party minus Anos to a secret room to make the payments and complete the contract he gave them. Uh, upon, however, giving them the coinage, Miguin then counted every single pouch to make sure everything was there to find that um, Sora was cut short, about 50 gold pieces. After the dealings were met and all was said to be done, Miguin quickly <laughs> made the decision to pick up his trident and right. spear I'm it into the shoulder I'm a girl. <laughs> of Gavin, thus engaging in combat. So, currently, Gavin is on the floor, a trident in his shoulder, um, he cool. just missed a crossbow bolt from uh, Nifan. No short bow. Short bow. Same thing. Um, I pull up my glaive. And uh, yeah, combat is now in session. <laughs> Gavin's going to go first. Uh oh. I think he might be of a higher level. You see, as <laughs> Gavin doesn't even touch the trident, he just takes his hand and he, like force pushes it pretty much out of his shoulder. <laughs> And then stands easy, up. Easy, dude. Easy money. Yo, did I throw that? He takes his other <laughs> hand, bad. and he almost uh, conjures some divine energy, and he just seals up his wound right away, and then gives a bit of a flourish and a deep breath with his chest. <sighs> you made a big mistake doing this. And um, That's your action, right? <laughs> you begin to see him take his uh, cape and twirl it around him and he spins in a circle going about faster and faster at a super speed velocity and he just go <laughs> disappears uh, wait uh, where did he go <laughs> he's gone what did we roll initiative for <laughs> huh. Anos you're still walking through the what city the yes. going to the shop Yes. Um, the brindle boar you see in an alleyway, a man <laughs> reappear and begin uh, quickly walking to the opposite side. Do I recognize this man? You don't recognize him right away, but you see that he's wearing very royal clothing. He's definitely a man of some sort of power. But mm. it, with the shade and everything, it's too hard to determine exactly who that figure is. And yeah, he just came into the alley and pretty much scoured out of your sight right away. But you got that quick glimpse of him. I am going to follow him. Okay, uh, I'll have you roll stealth. I got an eight. Okay. Uh, as you begin to follow his tracks, uh, keeping a far distance, although you're not a rogue, you're not crafty in the art of being sneaky, as well as you are murdering. Um, you... You keep a yeah. You keep a fair distance. You stay in line of sight, but you as you 
you make sure that if you're turning a corner, he's turning a corner as well, just to make sure he doesn't spot you. Um, as you're getting to the end of the alleyway area and he's about to go onto a busy street, um, you peek almost too fast and he turns around. He actually, it seems like he catches a glimpse of you peeking. And then, um, as you react backwards away from the wall and then look back, you see that he is pretty much scoured straight into the streets and quickened his pace. I'll keep following him. All right. Uh, as you go into the busy streets, you see him. He's easy to spot out because he's one of the few there that's actually wearing very royal clothing. Um, he's, yeah, he's moving fast. He's not trying to be suspicious, so he's moving at like a fast walk. Yeah. But he's shuffling through people and he's using his royal status almost to get him to part ways. Um, you are mostly just slipping in between people. Um, a heavy roll survival check. No, perception, sorry. 24. 24. All right. Uh, as you're weaving in between people and it's getting more and more crowded, you're still able to keep sight of them, um, although it's, it's getting more difficult now. Uh, you eventually just you see that he's almost pushing people out of the way, and he seems to be running to um, a royal gate of some kind, which is leading to the palace there, uh, which, you know, if he's in there, he's safe yeah nothing can happen no to him. Getting in there. um and he uh, he's just at this point he's pushing people past so what are you doing uh well knowing that my short halfling legs can't catch up to him and that he's going to make it to the gate i just kind of i try to find like a box or something try and get a better advantage to see exactly what he's going to be doing okay um there's various market stands here and there and like um piles of crates so you do find like a basically a stack of four or five crates um which you manage to climb your way on top of and as you're looking you're seeing that uh, he's just getting closer and closer um but at that gate there are like station guards pretty much in a one after the other line all around the perimeter hmm. no i'll just keep watching them i can't really do anything from here okay uh he keeps going, and you would see this first. He's beginning to look back. Do you want to do anything? He's taking uh, a last glance back. No. No? Okay, he glances back. Uh, he sees you on the crates, and he looks in the crowd. Although he didn't focus on you, he just saw you there and keeps looking around. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, he goes into the gates and into the palace okay well now i know where gavin is that's info i have now uh i guess i'll just make my way back to the shop since i still don't know where my companions are okay i would have assumed that they were with gavin but he seems to be skittering by himself <laughs> as you make your way to the brindle boar um weapon shop you it takes it's about 10 minutes navigating through all the people and making the right turns you then come across um it's a wooden storefront although the wood looks well constructed and fresh and it's almost like this store is relatively new you're getting that vibe it's fresh paint on the sign no chips no dents uh nothing of the sort it has that fresh wood smell to it um, and it's just a simple wooden door with one of those ring door handles, iron ring handles. Okay. I'll enter the shop and talk to the shopkeep. You open up the shop and immediately you're, you get filled with like the, the scent of charcoal and burning wood. Um, and, uh, it's also very like musty in here. It's definitely very condensed. There's not a lot of air to breathe. Okay. Um, it seems it's. There's also like quite a bit of smoke. He doesn't really have the best uh, venting situation. Nice. Hot boxing. <laughs> uh, no one's at the front right now, although you can hear clanging and banging in the back room. And there's no bell or anything to really chime someone to come to the front. But there's various... Um, it's You can tell he keeps more of probably the priceless stuff in the back and the shittier stuff with more poor quality in the front, so there's a lot of iron weaponry and uh, gear. 
So the only, the only thing that can make noise right now is take my maul out and like bang it against the counter and try and get his attention. <laughs> <laughs> As you take your maul out and you slam it against the counter, you actually completely crack a big chunk of wood and a bunch of splinters go flying and it makes a nice big noise that you're looking for but damages his <laughs> little table. Um, immediately you hear a bang and an ah! Mm! Oh, what the hell was that? And come stumbling outwards is this big, tall, yet slightly fat-looking Goliath um, who's wearing an uh, iron plate that's strapped in with rope at, like, the hinges. Okay. So one plate on the front and a plate on the back, and it's tied together with rope. And he's got, like, a Hannibal Lecter um, iron mask on his face. Okay. And he's sitting there, uh, like walks up with a hammer in his hand and he goes <clears throat> what do you want I point at my mall and I'm like I'm gonna I want to trade this in <sighs> you broke my counter that was like that when I got here <laughs> <laughs> no <it> wasn't <laughs> you think I'm an idiot you think a little halfling like me can break a counter like that well, I, I can't think even you're cool with that fancy weapon you got on there I can't even lift that mall <laughs> As I kind of <laughs> pretend to strain with it. Roll deception. <laughs> Fourteen. Fair enough. Uh, that makes a lot of sense to me. Why do you even carry it around then? You need some more of your size. I found it on the road. I figured I can get uh, get a nice price for it. Seems like decent steel. Well, if you want, if you want, I can have a look at it and give it a bit of a price for you. I'd like that. All right, I'll just come around here and pick it up for you so you don't strain yourself. Uh, oh, like, hammy! <laughs> he, like, thumps around the counter, and the whole room kind of vibrates and shakes. And he takes them all from you, and he lifts it up, and he gives you a good glance. And He thinks he created that dent on his counter, so he actually smacks it on there again to test its, like, weight. <laughs> creating another huge crack. <clears throat> This is, this is a fire weapon. This should do some real damage. All right, tell you what. I will uh, either do a trade with you or I'll just buy it from you and sell it for a higher price. <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to do a trade. I heard that this shop deals with some uh, specialized equipment. Oh, you're looking for the good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> right this way, follow me. Um, you see there's like a door that leads somewhere uh he doesn't open it he just kicks it with his big <laughs> foot and it goes flying down a set of steps and he goes right this way okay i'll follow him uh as he takes a step you see that these wooden steps are splintering and cracking each time and he makes his way down to the basement you do after him although you're a little careful that the stairs don't fall on you but you end up going into this uh cobblestone walled basement with a stone flooring. It's very, it's a lot colder and damper down here. Okay. Um, and it's pretty much pitch black here. It's, there's no light. And then you see him just go light a simple torch in the middle and uh, fills the room with light. It's almost a little brighter than a regular torch. And all around you on the walls are these beautiful weapons. Like there's um, long swords here with golden hilts that are in the shape of a lion. Um oh, so there's very royal swords here with a lot of gold and flair to them. There's other swords here that seem a lot more practical with like serrated blades or um, extra sharp edges. Um, there's bows, arrows, crossbows. Some of them actually have three arrows cocked in them. Hmm. Things like that. So there's a lot of interesting weaponry here. Right, so just pick your flavor. Uh... And you be, you know, be quick. I don't got all day. I got things to make. Cool. <laughs> I'll, I'll look around for a, uh, like, a rapier or some other smaller weapon. And then also, I want to find, like, a hand cross. Uh, rapier, small weapon, hand crossbow. How about both in one? <laughs> that <laughs> sounds like a hell of a deal. Right, specialized weapons. All, oh. all for a mace? <laughs> um, okay. Uh, you see that he stumbles off to a chest that's in the, the crossbow section. Um, there's like three chests in there and he opens one up and he pulls out this nice, uh, thin, uh, almost delicate looking rapier. Okay. 
but it's got like uh, silver twining on the handle. Um, and uh, then it's got that curved guard for your knuckles. Yeah. Uh, but you see on that curved guard that there is like a crossbow bolt that's jammed and cocked in it, and there's a small trigger on the end of the on the, the bump of the hilt. Yeah. Okay. And just over here. This is what you might be looking for. I mean, these bolts, they're not quite common. You can't find them everywhere in a very small size, but this will do a lot of damage on an unsuspecting foe. This seems very specialized and Fits right up my alley. There he is. I mean, you need to be quiet. You need to be unseen. Yet you still need to get the job done. Boom. Just a little flick of the wrist. And you killed that kid. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Or whoever you die to, you know, be not seen anymore. No, kids are assholes. Uh, I like it. <laughs> Tell um, me about the pickle me all the time. <laughs> That's besides the point. Um, but I'd be willing to trade you for that, but you'd also have to pay me a sum of gold because that is quite the item. Uh, how many bolts would you be willing to part with it? I could give you a set of 50 to start out with, or I can throw an additional 50 for uh, 10 gold pieces. 50 would seem... would be fine for me. Uh, how about I throw in an extra 40 gold on top of the mall and mm. call it a deal? Mall for the gold. I could do some crazy things with this mall. <laughs> mm, you got yourself a deal. Okay. Uh, and the exchange thing gets made. He takes the mall and you see that he just like slams it into the ground. And with all the force that he slams it in there, it just gets jammed right in the rock. <laughs> and then he goes, great. Now get out of my shop. That will do. <laughs> <laughs> Grab my rapier and I huddle up the stairs and... Leave the shop. All right. Um, as you do so, suddenly you are greeted to another a vicious, all of you are greeted to another vicious rumble on uh, the city's grounds. Uh, you're suspecting another explosion is soon to happen. But Gavin ran off with the blood. You're not sure what's going on, if he's stopping it or not. You're assuming he is, but what do you know? Um, you know what I do know? Is that he left, and there's a chest full of money. <laughs> so I'm going to go open that chest. You go open the chest, and there are pouches, but they're deflated. Look at my pouch. Uh, look at our pouches. You have gold coins in them. I, oh, I open right. all the other pouches. Empty. Um, is there anything else in this uh, room? No, it is strictly just the table and the chest. I pick up the chest. Is it heavy? No. It's, well, it's it's hefty, but not I extremely throw it heavy. into a wall. I <laughs> <laughs> You do that, and all of a sudden, crang, crack, and bang. How many, no! how many small, <laughs> empty pouches are there? There's about 30. I take them all. <laughs> okay. Um, you take 30 empty we pouches. We can't take his money. We'll just take his pouches. <laughs> These what do you do with the money if he has no pouches? <laughs> this is... <laughs> this would be good for some Skittles <laughs> or some other small <laughs> quantity of uh, items. I am so angry! <laughs> this is what we get for throwing a trident at him! You guys want to throw walls of fire at him! Suddenly, Annalise, you'd be the man. first to hear this. The rest of you would kind of hear it slightly after, but you begin to hear the bells of the city toll and chime uh, in unison. Do we know what that means? These are... Uh, Alert bells, so these put the guards on extra alert. Oh no! And I, all, to pretty much double the guards. I hear it and I go, "Oh, recess time!" <laughs> <laughs> I do the classic anime protagonist. I slam my hand in my fist, and I'm like, "It's time to kill that guy." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he went, or where he lives, or why, but he needs to die. <laughs> Suddenly, there's another shift of the ground. <laughs> Oh, there might be another explosion. <laughs> I'm going to misty step outside. Um, okay. Uh, as you go <laughs> outside, you see uh, there are more guards that are being stationed at all the posts. Um, and as well as there's actually patrols now out walking paths in about groups of three to four. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the civilians mostly are beginning to scatter into shops and homes and less traffic is being put out on the streets. I step out of the building. Same. Yeah. 
Oh, so it, did I, go, I waste a misty yeah, step? Yeah, I went yeah. through the door. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You all are agreed to the <laughs> same site. And I'm going to stick to your shadows. Two shadows? Yeah. Okay. Roll, roll stealth. I'm going to approach the nearest guard. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to approach him as well. That's a three. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you step into the shadows, and you think you're pretty well hidden. All right, um, you walk up to a guard. Currently, he doesn't really pay any attention to you. He gives you a quick glance, but he's more looking on the horizon past you, looking around. Hey, listen. Oh, uh, what do you want? Um, uh, do you know who Gavin is? Oh, yes, Gavin Whittingham. Yeah. yeah. Yes. No, I'm talking to oh. Tony. <laughs> Tony, shut up. We have a nice package to deliver to him. Don't listen to her. She's a bitch. Don't listen to her. <laughs> Look, ladies, I don't know. What? One at a time. One hey. of you speak. Oh, I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> I said one at a time. I will go first. We I, me, Eglin, will go first. For... <laughs> so what are you doing? <laughs> All right. All right. Look. Make what do you st- mean? Say I go first. Megwin. That's me. That's what I heard. Yeah. Right, you go first. Speak. All right, thank you. And I shoot a victorious g- glare at, at uh, Sora, and then I, go, I speak. Um, so, Gavin, is he a good person? Well, you, you, yes. Yes, he controls all the magic here. He's what keeps our city afloat and out of danger from below ground. Okay, okay my is here. No, I'm not done! <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where does Gavin like to hang out? Fuck you! <laughs> I assume at his palace on the second level. Cool, how do I get there? With an invitation or proper uh, oh, he, authorization. He invited me in person, no, so I don't know how to... I don't no, know how to... No, no, show, show the cards. Show, show the cards. Look, I don't know what's going on, but I think I have a hunch. Look, ladies, he's not taking any women right now. I he's don't a single like man. He's a busy no. man. No, he's Go about your business. Just my friend. Look, no, he's not. Uh, she's lying. Oh my god! Like, Get out of my face you before just, I rest you both. You know about the dragon down there. Out of my face before I rest you both. You I'm have annoyed me, and I have a job to do. Excuse so, me. I am so sorry. I didn't mean to annoy you. Uh, except my friendly Shut up. and gesture of <laughs> my appreciation. <laughs> What did you say? Oh, I said, have you heard of the dragon, Dalmac? It didn't sound like this what you said. I heard, I'm here to kill Gavin <laughs> Whittingham. <laughs> what? Those are serious accusations. I didn't say that. Whoa, and you look as he kind of like waves over. You're here like, oh, no, Gavin. I just wanted to go meet him and have fun. But some guards begin like to bitch. converge around you. I I space myself away from you. <laughs> you see guards are coming <laughs> to block you off as well. From Oh, going. no. I missed you. Step away. That's my Oh, line. no. You already used it. No, I have two spell slots. Fuck you. <laughs> Misty Step's a normal spell too, Mr. Illidan. Look here. I missed you. Step. You and I need to have a and I run towards the place where Gavin is. Uh, immediately, you shift behind the guards that are closing in on you. And, yeah, you start making your way to the palace. I'm gonna kill him! Kill him! <laughs> uh, Fuck you, Sora! You see that about a handful of the guards there go chasing after you. Sora, the other half stay with you and block you in fully. Well, that leaves you. Why? What is going on? Is there something we should know? No, I actually just wanted to go find Gavin. I have no other ill intentions. Let me prove you know, it to you with a good handshake. I'm not inclined to believe that. I don't understand why not. You know what? We're taking you and everyone here in for questioning. You and this little man. I look, I look totally surprised that he saw me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you stand there, the chair's like, like oh, me? Um, He'll never uh, take me alive! <laughs> um, well, there's your invitation. The guards now go to cuff you, and you as well, Nathan. I'm pissed off at this. <laughs> so I... What can I actually do? Misty step. <laughs> Works every time. Uh... Are there any buildings to climb? Uh, there are various, like, shorter style houses that you could try to climb. And are they, like, in a row? 
there's a couple that are in a row, like in maybe groups of three. It's you're in a bit of a circle area right now. So in groups of three, some of them do have like things stacked beside them. Okay, I'm gonna climb one then. <laughs> so that makes uh-huh. me think of I've got second story uh work, so I can climb it uh I can climb faster than normal and climbing no longer costs extra movement. Okay, so uh that's like suicide squad. <laughs> <laughs> the guy the the, the, the character's yeah. head is blown up, like every everyone panics and just starts climbing a building. <laughs> um Okay, so right away you because you're so proficient in climbing, you just grab you jump off of one tiny crate and you just grab the edge of the roof and pull your little body up there and roll up and you're now too high for the guards to reach you. <laughs> and you see that none of them have any sort of ranged weapons other than sp- like a spear maybe that they could throw. Um, but three of them converge over you and keep an eye on you. Make sure you don't jump off anywhere. I'm going to try to jump to the next building, next and next one, next and like that. Uh, okay. Uh, and when I make a rump, running jump, the distance I cover increased by a number of feet equal to your dex modifier, which is minus one. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> what's your speed? Uh, 25. <laughs> 24? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> roll acrobatics for the first jump. Because okay. you're about to jump a couple houses here. Acrobatics. How about the athletics? <laughs> <It's> an eight. <laughs> uh, you jump, and by the skin of your teeth, you do actually grip onto the okay. next house and pull yourself up. Although, as you're nearly all the way up, your hands kind of slip out onto you. You almost fall again, but you're safe. Uh, as you're running to jump to the next house, you know how far you could jump, and you know that if you try to jump this gap, you'll probably fall. It seems to be just slightly too far. It's like so you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> there's a chance, <laughs> but it's very small. You bet like, I probably can't do this, but it's worth a try. Make a deck save. It's a three? No, no, that's a... Uh... Six. <laughs> uh, as you stop and take a moment to realize if you're going to make this jump or not, you quickly uh, feel a sharp pain in your shoulder as a spear has been lunged okay. into your back. Um, although, okay. due to the weight and your size, it just falls out, but you now have an open wound. Um, it's only bleeding. Okay, we'll just have Gavin heal. <laughs> I got a question after Surprisingly, this. you only take uh, two points of damage. Okay. Um, when he hops up the building... Uh, are all the guards watching him like for a split second? No, uh, three of the guards go chasing after him. The other two are still going to cuff but him. But when he like goes to hop up, would they not all take like a quick they're yonder? F- well, they're f- they, like, is there a moment? No, they're <laughs> focusing. Well, if, if to he hops you, up, every guard has their job. No, I'm just saying, like, if he hops up, would yeah. they all be like surprised? Like, isn't there like a moment? Okay, all you know quickly? what, Tony? For your sake, I will, I will, I will let you okay, know yeah. this. Okay. Okay, there's a split second. <laughs> <laughs> I disguise myself. I use disguise per uh, disguise self, and I look like one of the guards. <laughs> How long does that take? Uh, let's find out. I think disguise self is instant. If it's instantaneous, it makes sense because it's like a split second that all their eyes shift onto me. <laughs> uh, where did it go? Where did it... Oh, it takes one action. Takes one action. So it takes six seconds. Ooh, he specifically said a split second. So yeah, it's, like- it's not six seconds. They're staring at Nifan. So you want to cast it? Uh, <laughs> they're going to watch you transform. <laughs> Do what I did and just run away. <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't know what to do. Um... Okay, if they all look away from a split second. At this point, one of the guards has pulled out his iron cuffs. I know what I can do. Sorry. When they all look away for a split second, um, I'm going to use... Oh, sweet lord. Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go back. Uh, invoke... Uh, duplicity. Duplicity. And I'm going to make a, a version of myself like... Like, <laughs> away. So it looks like I like broke through and ran off. So they would all like, so it'd be like in the general direction of where he is. At. So then it's like my, like I ran, I'm running off. Um, oh. Uh, 
Uh, oh. Oh. There's any rolls need to be made. Uh, yeah, I just as an action, I create a perfect illusion of myself that lasts for a minute. Um, All right, I'm gonna roll to see who if they be fooled by it. Let's see, it's four guards on you. Uh, okay, you guys are just rampaging, and I'm just kind of like doing my own business. So, uh, you you cast an illusion of yourself. Yeah. In that split second window. Yeah. Uh, and like over I'm in bo- the direction of Neath Hand, where they're yeah. all going to be looking. Yeah, and I'm booking it. As that happens, and they see that your illusion is booking it, every single one of them <laughs> believe it. <laughs> <laughs> they see that, and they're like, "Hurry, right, get back here!" <laughs> and they immediately start booking towards your um, illusion, as it just kind of quickly books around the corner and disappears. You have a free moment, a small window now, where the guards are nowhere near around you. Nevehan, do you make the jump? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Roll athletics. That's a 22. 22. You make the, the big leap. You actually take a couple steps back, and then you just uh, do, 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 up in the air, and... <laughs> Bam, you like crash into this roof <laughs> and you you hear cracking of wood and it's not a nice landing. It definitely hurts, um, but you land nonetheless awesome. on the surface um, Yeah, and you make your recovery. The guards still following you have not lost sight. The other guards, you now see guards on the other side of the house, though, that look all confused, standing around and... Um, wondering as if they're trying to search for someone. And you see that uh, Sora... Uh, what are you doing now? Okay. You have a free moment. Um, so how how many close buildings are there around me? Like, how, what what's all around me? So right now to... It'll be the south of you is where Nifan is jumping across smaller, like, hut buildings. Yeah. That there's, there's about three in a line. And that's about a half circle there. You're in, like, a cobblestone market square almost type deal okay except there's just a fountain there's not a, it's not actually a market square um two right beside you though is much taller buildings made out of um wood and stone that lead further into the city into the middle of the city on the first level okay and those ones are like pretty much right next to each other they're just really tall and thin um buildings with various um pathways uh, so I'm gonna, like, head towards those buildings and run, like, the opposite kind of direction from where those from where guards are. Okay. Yeah, guards are running. Um, um okay. I'm gonna book it off until I know no, no one can see me. Okay. We don't see me right now, but, like, I run yeah. off, like, at a, at a distance. Until you're out of sight, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, as you run down one of the pathways, you do see that there's still a lot of guards because the post has been doubled. Um... There's a patrol further down the road, not facing you. They're currently walking the same direction you're running, um, but you catch up to them really quick. There are a couple of alleyways, so you jump to the one and to the left, and for now, you're concealed. Okay. No one sees you. No one knows where you are. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to disguise myself um, Okay. to... <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Not that face, bro. Just got myself <laughs> like Gavin. <laughs> Gavin? Yeah. Do you have to? Oh yeah, roll performance one. Um. <laughs> what is that? A one. It's a one. <laughs> it's a one. <laughs> now this guy self is a spell, right? It like changes your form. Yeah. Yeah. It's a first level illusion. Well, it's yeah. It's sorry. It's an illusion. So, um. Like, if I, like, made myself had, like, a hat, and I didn't actually have a hat, like, if someone were to interact with it, it'd be, like, like a hologram, kind of. Okay. So, like, it's it's an illusion, so I don't so actually turn into... you don't totally remember all the specific details of what Gavin looks like, so you kind of form yourself some royal clothing, you know, a nice royal velvet cape with maybe some, like, um, cheetah fur around the trimming, um, a nice... Um, Silver breastplate, maybe. Yes, you got um, a robe over it, though. Like a nice silk robe. 
uh, with a sash around your waist. Um, and you're wearing a big wizard hat. <laughs> <laughs> you're a fucking pimp. <laughs> nice. I'm beautiful. Um, your face morphs kind of into Gavin's face. You're, you, you know he's bald, so you lose your hair. Yeah. Um, well, you were a and, dragonborn. You didn't have hair. No, not really. Yeah, you develop some, like, stubble. Um, your skin's a little darker tone than Gavin's is, though. It's not quite as pale. But you think you pulled it off. Okay. It's a pretty good Gavin. Um, you become Gavin's stunt double. <laughs> Do I, I know where he lives, right? You know he lives in the palace, yeah. Okay. Um, That's where I ran. I guess I'm going to head towards the palace. Okay. Uh, now we're going to go to... I sorry, I'm just gonna waltz in the streets with confidence. Like <laughs> that, I'm like that. I'm get, like I'm gonna walk down and be like, hey, you know, I'm Gavin. You know. Uh, okay, as you do that, um, currently in the road, there's no guards right now. The patrol turned the corner. Yeah. Um, so right now you're just walking in an empty, pretty much pathway with a lot of confidence. Yeah. You're just strutting your stuff. Nice. Me and Gwen. This is like the Spider-Man <laughs> sequence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm Gavin. <laughs> Hell yeah. God, that was gross. <laughs> <laughs> now being chased down. Anos, you see this ruckus. Um, since you're on the second level, you look down, you see it. There is like pretty a growing group of guards chasing a man in the streets. <laughs> I'm a woman! <laughs> you can't see from the distance, you assume. You do hear assume it's my party. Yeah. You do hear I'll never take me alive! <laughs> you hear an echo faint of words. I mean, they ditched me. This, the currently, oh, though, he's running towards the second level where you are. Um, he's going to the, uh, the port way. Uh, the guards don't know that I'm associated with them, so I'm no. just going to kind of find a safe spot to observe. <laughs> okay, what safe spot would you find? Um, maybe on top of a building. Mm, okay. Um, roll, uh, roll dexterity for me. Just a check? Yeah, just a check. Eight. Eight? <laughs> um, you climb onto almost like a porch roof, not actually on fully on top of a building, and you crouch below a window that's right above it. Uh, as you did take a quick peek in, you see there seems to be like an old lady that's making some sort of supper for herself. Okay. But she's unaware that of your presence. And, yeah, you kind of lay yourself down. This roof is, like, has hay instead of shingles over it. Um, But you're concealed. I mean, it's not really common for someone to go walking and just look up at this random roof. Yeah. And you got a fairly good vision. It's not the greatest, but it's better than what it was. (sighs) Mia Gwen. (laughs) You are now currently racing through the second level. You're approaching the portal. Um, as you glance behind you, you see there's about ten guards now chasing you. Um, some have their spears out. almost look like they're ready to toss them at you. They're just waiting to get close enough. Um, while others are just full-on trying to chase you down. Okay. <laughs> Where is the palace? Uh, it's on the second level. So I have to go through the portal? You'd have to go through the portal to the second level. How far away are the guards? About 50 feet or so, closing in. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, can I make it to the portal before they reach me? You don't know. You think you have a, a chance. You don't know how good that chance is. Me and my big mouth. Fuck. <laughs> um... Oh no, I can't cast Fun Steve. It takes 10 minutes. I'm about 40 feet now. I fucking, I just book it. You book it? I book it right towards that portal. Alright, uh. And I, I, as I'm running, I like <clears throat> grab fruit from stalls and stuff and like throw it back <laughs> at him as I run. I'm like, go away! Go away! Leave me alone! This is assault! Okay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna call the guards on you! <laughs> Uh, as you throw some of the fruit behind you, the ground begins to tremble and shake again. And when you throw one of the fruits behind and you glance back, you see that a good portion of the guards have actually just fallen from the vibrations and the shakes. Yeah, that's what's up! <laughs> um, giving you a fair bit of distance away from them again. And nice. you do make it to the portal. And the second you touch it, it just skyrockets you to the second level. 
it just picks you up and carries you there. And then there's a gentle drop. Fucking run. You see him uh, as he just exits to the portal. You're pretty much like 30 feet away from him. I'm not stopping. Your... I run straight to the palace. And now you see Mia Gwen basically run past you. I... Continuing onwards to the palace. How, how tall up? Like how far up am I? You're like 10 feet. Okay. Above? Yeah. About 10 feet high. I'm going to jump in front. Okay. And, uh... Clothesline, me go in. My three foot frame. No, I have a reaction. <laughs> Why do you always do this? Well, to my let's curses? see if you'll hit first. Roll the hit. You literally fucking trap me. <laughs> you always <laughs> hit my other my characters. Uh, I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> Time for murder. <laughs> just roll the hit. Yeah, just roll the hit. I got a three. Uh, my armor class is greater than three. Um, so as Mia Gwen's spreading, you miss gauge his speed that he's traveling at. And as you Her. jump, you come in a little late. Her and speed. Mia Gwen, you just hear a nice thud on the ground <laughs> <laughs> behind you as you just full on smack your, uh, pretty much, well, you catch yourself on your shoulders and your side, but you scrape into the ground. Okay. Um, you just take four damage. Do I see who it is? I turn and I look. Get back here, you little slut. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Who's that? And I turn and I look. Hey, screw you. I'm you left me to die. No, I didn't mean to. And I, I'm not stopping At running. At which I mean. point you see the guards coming through the portal now. Oh, he, it was him. He's going to kill Gavin Whittingham. And I point it, <laughs> point it at us. Uh, hey, you. <laughs> Don't move! I just kind of stand there and like... I was just buying <laughs> shit from this shop right here! Uh, you see... It's a as, lady's house! Uh, a couple of guards are actually diverging off towards you. <laughs> and the rest are... The majority of them are going to chase me again down. But like, no. about two, three of them stop. <laughs> no! To, to your direction. They just come to a slow walk and approach you at a walking pace. Yeah, I'm not moving. I go, leave me alone! Yeah, I go through the portal. Going up to the palace. So I'm heading there as well. Yeah, you, at which you won't be too long after, I guess. Yeah, you make it through a portal just at a different entrance. Oh, okay. um, but you wisp your way up there. Um, and you hear the commotion coming from the right of you. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's uh, not that far. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll go check it out quick. Okay. As you do that, Nifan, you're on this roof. Yeah. Um, the guards are still surrounding you. What are you doing? I'm just going to keep going from building to building until I got At this it. point, you're out of buildings. Is there anything else high that I can jump on? No, not really. Everything else is going to be lower. Jump off of their heads. Yeah, from where you like, are. Like, so high enough to be out of reach, though? No. No, you can jump onto maybe, like, a, a hay basket or hay bale. But huh. anything else. <laughs> the, ne- the next building that you could jump to yeah. is, like, a good 30 to 40 feet. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Are there any people, any guards right there? There's the three guards that are looking at you right now because they followed you from and the And they jumping. were like in the way there? They're in the front of the house looking at you. Okay. So yeah, they'd be in the direct way that you would have to run to get to the other building. Do I see anyone behind the house? There are, but they're down a couple of houses. Those are the ones that got confused. Okay. And there's like four of them there. <laughs> and they're just looking around like, what's going on? They're spread out at this point. They're not focused on you, yeah. though. Yeah, I'm going to jump down that way and then go to whatever next house I can see and just climb up that. Uh, okay. Um, make a check for me. Uh, what kind of check? Athletics. It's an eight. An eight? Uh, okay, as you or jump... A, or a nat one. <laughs> as you jump down the house... Um, you begin to hear the guards try to go around the sides, but you book it to the next one. And as you go to climb up, there's nothing to grab and like j- lunge yourself up to. You can't get up to the roof. Okay. Uh, At this point, you see one of the guards come around the side and look behind the house that you were originally at. And that's one of the guards that is going after me or one that is going after... One that's going after you. Okay. Uh... <laughs> So what's all around me right now? So right now you're in the middle house yeah. uh, behind it because you can't get up. Yeah. One of the three guards that was paying attention to you came through between the houses. Uh, it was now 
Um, currently looking at the house that you're previously on, but we'll soon look at you. The other two are coming around the other end. The other four guards are to the left of you, spreading out more farther away, but still within earshot. We have and lost yeah. Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> we uh, lost the game. Let's see. I'm doing perfectly fine. As well, Do I uh, see any doors? There's a houses? back door into the house, yeah. <laughs> You're in quite a pickle, man. Yep, I'm going to go to the house. Is it uh, <laughs> the door is not locked. Okay. Um, you do whip it open. You know most places you don't lock their back doors unless yeah. it's night. Um, so, yeah, you just crank that baby open. You uh, run I'm, in. I'm trying to like be sneaky about it. Okay, roll stealth. It's not bad. That's a 13. 13. <laughs> um, you open the door, and you only open it enough to where you think it might start creaking, yeah. and you just slide your way in and ever so gently shut it. Um, and then you actually turn the lock and just light click. Okay. Door's now locked. Uh, you are in a dimly lit room. There's only the light from the outside coming into the room. Okay, room too. Yeah. Um, it's empty. There's a um, table, chair, there's a wooden stove to cook on. Um, but it's bare bones. Can I try to find any hidden rooms? Yeah, real <laughs> investigation. That's an ad 20. At 20, uh, you go scouring, uh, you kind of quickly scatter through the house and you see that there's another empty room in there that seems like it would have been the bedroom. Um, upon going in, you see immediately a cellar door leading down. Um, you open it up and uh, go down the ladder and it's a tunnel system, not a cellar system. Um, you don't know where the tunnel leads though, but it definitely leads out of here. Yeah, I definitely follow it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you close that hatch and you go down the tunnel. Currently traveling there. Um, this is a very shady city. <laughs> now, <laughs> um, back to Mia Gwyn, Sora, and Anno. Sora, yes. you've just arrived at this scene. You see Mia yes. Gwyn is still booking it to the palace. Okay. Guards are after him. Although her, <laughs> her. Although a couple of guards have stopped with Anos, and Anos looks very calm. And they All seem right. to be having just. Uh, a conversation. I yell for the guards to stop. I'm like, stop! <clears throat> stop! <laughs> um, do, not, do not chase that man! <laughs> he <My is> woman! <laughs> Roll performance <laughs> to see Sorry. how well you mimic the voice. Alright. This is what I was born to do. Do not look at my face! <laughs> this is what I was born to do, baby. Six. <laughs> <laughs> as you belt out stop um already it sounds wrong uh your voice did a slight crack in tone and there's almost a bit of shimmer in your uh, vocal cords um the guards immediately closest to you talking with Anna, stop and look and t- look at you and go sir are you okay yes <laughs> I just have a really bad cold. <laughs> oh dear, well we should Yeah, we should get you inside. This is not good. Being out here it could get worse. Yes, I'm headed to the palace as we speak. Oh my goodness, um, sorry. Uh, ignore I, this rabble for now. Guards, that man actually owes me money. That's that's why I was here. For Sir Gavin here. Yeah. Gavin owes me money, yes. Yeah. I do actually. Uh <laughs> 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 Do you know it's me? No. Oh, no. No one knows it's you. Uh, you... I do, actually, and I, like, I wink at you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Follow me to my palace. <laughs> All right, well, we'll escort you. <laughs> Thank you very much. We also need to uh, catch up to that woman who's running away over there. She is also my friend, and I think she is wrongly accused. <laughs> Um, and you hear in the distance, I will kill Gavin! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, when they they catch her, we, we'll get this sorted out. Thank you! Um, so you guys all begin walking to the palace. Yeah. To <laughs> um, Mia Gwyn, <laughs> these guards are now closing the distance quite quickly uh, as you're getting remember? closer to the palace. They're killing the four distance. Now. Four? Oh, four? I can actually. fucking take yeah. four. Hell yeah. Um... <laughs> I could take, yeah. I'm sure Megwin can. I could take four. 
Oh no, they're they're yeah, no, there's four. Yeah, they're closing the distance. They're about twenty feet within your range now. Okay, I'm gonna stop, whirl around on my pivot foot, and I'm gonna gas channel Which foot is your pivot foot? No your business. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wait till they're within 10 feet. I'm going to use Nature's Wrath on one of them. Nature's Wrath. Yeah, so it's my channel of divinity. Uh, as an action, you can cause Spectral Vine to spring up and reach for a creature within... Actually, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to hit them first. Yeah, no, I'm going to stop and I'm going to, like... You, I'm going to whirl on my right pivot foot and then use the momentum to, like, lunge forwards and slash at them with my glaive. Okay, uh, I, I assume you'd slash the one that's in the lead. Um, one moment, please, as I determine the health points of this card. Can it be less than ten? Wow. Roll to hit. Man, what up, mate? <laughs> yeah, so have like 95 health. Uh, 19. 19, that hits. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. Roll your damage. So that's... Three plus three is six. And then I'll use extra attack. Okay, roll the... And I will do it to a different guard. To a different guard that's coming up. Okay, roll yeah. the, the head. And I'm going to use Divine Smite. So I can... I have one second level spell slot left, so I'm going to use that. There'll be an extra 3d8 damage on top of when I hit him. You're definitely going to be arrested. Uh, 19 again? Okay, uh, so that hits. Okay, so he takes uh, 12 and then another 3d8. I'll fucking kill this guy. <laughs> I love me and Gwen. Takes 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, thir- another 13. And I go, stay away! <laughs> Alright, so as you stop abruptly, turn on your pivot horn with your glaive, you hack down the first card that uh, reaches you. You cleave him right in the shoulder, and he falls off to the side. You follow up with a swide swipe to the next one, and you completely lob off his head. <laughs> oh. And he just drops to the ground. Immediately, the oh. other two guards stop dead in their tracks. That's a dub! <laughs> and take their spears and keep him at a distance from you. I, like, wipe <laughs> my glaive, like, frantically. I'm like, who wants some? Who wants some? <sighs> Uh, at this point, you, yeah. Neef Hand, uh, and or, um, Anos, and sorry, you catch up. <sighs> Stop! <laughs> Please! <laughs> Do not make this worse than it needs to be. Who else than you is going to hurt me, I think? Uh, you then hear s- clanging behind you as guards are coming in from behind you now from the palace. Oh, I'm going to jail! <laughs> <laughs> but you see Gavin Whittingham... <laughs> On the other side of the guards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with uh, with Anos. <laughs> Gavin! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Mia Gwen. Uh, <laughs> how's it going, friend? <laughs> friend, I thought... I, I wink at Mia Gwen. <laughs> okay. I <laughs> wink back, and I'm like, okay, yeah, um... Not so um, good. Your guards tried to kill me, so I killed another one in self-defense. Uh, the guards didn't look you. Sir, I'm, this man, he used to be arrested. <laughs> Sorry, we will get him out of your way as quick as possible. I'm a woman! <laughs> <laughs> woman. Goddamn. Uh, don't worry about it. I, Gavin, will deal with this. <laughs> weak-minded folk. <laughs> Just... I, uh, uh, Gu- guide us to the- my palace, and I will deal with this scum once we get in there. <laughs> Would I be able to notice that something's wrong with him? <laughs> I talk like I'm you can see that his speaking is off. <laughs> I'm just going with it because you know this is my way into the palace, and I know I might be able to get some cool shit. I'd be like, I personally want to uh, dehead this Mia Gwen myself. Neath hand, as you've been traveling through the tunnel system this whole time, uh, you also went through a portal that seems to be beneath <laughs> the city. Convenient. Like in it's, the portal, yeah. the, the tunnel basically <laughs> led you down to the very point of the city, and there is a tunnel, uh, one of those the teleporting ones that goes to the next point of the other level. Okay, and then there's a ladder that leads upwards, which you begin to climb up. 
and you see like almost like a sewer grate as you push it and peek up uh, you see the feet of some guards past those more guards and then you see your companions and Gavin uh, you don't see Sora though <laughs> and they seem to be in uh, discussion I'm gonna re-lower the, the grate okay. <laughs> and just keep an eye on like from below what's happening Ken. I will have it known that I murdered this man <laughs> in self-defense so you're saying you want him on trial not just executed now. Uh, no. Uh, well, kind of both. Uh, what, what's the rest of him now? But once we get to my awesome palace, um, I'll bring him into my room and kill him. And kill him myself. <laughs> For the last kill time, myself. I am a girl. Please refer to me as a girl. Um, the guard kind of squints and looks at you a little more closely. Are you all right, sir? Oh, I just, I have a bit of a cold. So I'm a little out of it. A little out of it. Yeah, you know, I I've been taking all this medication um, from my the the doctor palace <laughs> palace you know, doctor, and uh, it's been honestly been making me feel a little wheezy and confused listen, sometimes. He just wants to take a beautiful woman into his room to kill. <laughs> no, you I know, legit uh, want uh, to murder her. All right, uh, well, I submit. I won't. I guess I'll leave this in your hands. Uh, well, you can arrest her here and bring her to the palace. Oh, right. oh of arrest course, that bitch. of course. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. Uh, the, guard, the guard will come up to you and attempt to uh, just pummel you right in the face. I <laughs> dodge. I scare like just a quick smack. I dodge. Um. Well, we'll see if you dodge. You dodge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you I just you just dodge. in the face. <laughs> Uh, as he swings, and then a couple of guards just quickly grab you and throw some um, iron bars on you. I could have, could have taken them. <laughs> Let's all go to my palace. <laughs> and then you you're hearing all this, <laughs> uh, like every word, and you begin to see the footsteps travel towards the palace and past you. Um, I'm just thinking, well, I'm me, Gwen Spock. <laughs> <laughs> And do I see, uh, I forget your character's name. Anos. Anos? I would have been see standing Anos. right next to fake yeah. Gavin. Okay. Yeah, you see Gavin and Anos, and everyone step by. Do I see any of the guards that had chased me before or would recognize me? No, you don't see any of those guards. Okay, uh, once the crowd's thinned out a little bit, I'll come out of the sewer. <laughs> all right, uh, as they pass by and you hear the gates open up and you come out of the sewer, you see that they're all going into the palace. Okay. Um, and the gates begin closing by, behind them. Can I attempt to sneak through? It's broad daylight. Okay, then no. uh, uh, let's see. Guards around, you can try. <laughs> I mean, you were pretty much invisible before. Yeah, you know, <laughs> in the shadows. <laughs> I have mastered the art of standing so still that you cannot see me. Uh, oh, I'll yell to Anos. Anos! Anos! Wait up, wait up! Um, oh, fuck. I don't want to blow my cover. <laughs> um, do I hear that as well? Yeah, you would all hear the the yelling. Hey, I'm what's like, up, Nifan? I'm like, oh, Nifan, my friend. <laughs> Guards, please let that man in. <laughs> right away, sir. We do it. Uh, the gates open up for you. Yeah, I look confused. That's just my uh, you are all now rejoined, although no one knows that Sora is <laughs> pretending to be Gavin. Um, uh, yeah, you guys continue walking up. Um, and as you're about to get to the door, one of the guards uh, suddenly stops. He looks up and goes, Sir, Sir Whittingham. Yes. If you're... Down here. Why is your room up there lit up? Oh no, I'm having a stroke! (laughs) 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 Roll performance. (laughs) Distraction. Ooh, ooh. Uh, 12 but 14. 14? Uh. The guards all of a sudden, um, as you start. Flipping out and seizuring and falling to the floor. Most of the guards then attend here to go, 
to get distracted and go, oh my gosh, uh, this man, someone get this man a medic. I'm a girl. <laughs> you must yeah. be think like you just don't understand. <laughs> oh, I'm a woman. <laughs> uh, you see a, a couple of guards, uh, one cradles your head, the other two, uh, a bunch oh of others begin to lift you up and try to control you from spasming out of control and they I, hurl you into the palace yeah i just say no matter she will be dead <laughs> soon <laughs> well um while they're dealing with that i will go check upstairs make sure no intruders in your room Got oh it? don't honestly no i don't, insist no, no i don't need you i commend you, you. <laughs> 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 not do that <laughs> I don't want to get you sick. I, uh, you know, I've been hacking and, and barfing. <laughs> Sir, with all due respect, I understand, but this is my job, see, to make sure no, you're safe. When it comes to I, matters like this, I'm afraid I must go check. I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> the other guy arrest you. <laughs> oh no! My stroke is getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> I command that you do not do that. The guards start hurling you off faster to the medical center. <laughs> bring, bring, that, bring that seizure you want up to my room. <laughs> but the medical center is that way, sir. No matter. I will put her down. <laughs> well... <laughs> Roll deception. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, me, man. Do it 11. <laughs> no, I. Th- what? Well, I get that you want to do it, but that would make a mess of your room. Look, we uh, do have a place for this for a reason. That, we'll, we'll take her to the medical center. She'll be fine. All right. Yeah, actually, that's a better plan. Um, I will go check your room no, for you. I'll be right no, back. No, no. <laughs> I'll be very quick. <laughs> Let's you see as he begins oh, no. jogging up the steps. <laughs> Guards, arrest, <laughs> arrest that guy! <laughs> Quickly, you see two guards uh, that hear your chime. Um, and without question, seeing that you are of higher status, they rush to grab that guard. Who is indeed a captain? <laughs> And grab him by each arm and pull him back down. I sit up and I'm like, I'm better now! <laughs> Immediately the guards look at her. Are you sure you're okay, me? Yeah, focus on that guy! He's trying to get away! I, <laughs> I point at the captain that they're arresting. They're a little weirded out, but they're going, Alright, we'll keep one with you. Um, so one guard stays with you. You see three more guards <laughs> come in and completely tackle this captain. <laughs> one after the other and then pick him up and like hold him by his feet and his arms in the air and they're bringing him to you this, this man's a traitor to the throne <laughs> oh god <laughs> throw him in the brakes <laughs> I will go into my room please do not uh, please do not uh, bother me <laughs> <laughs> For the next 24 hours. Immediately the captain says, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, if you didn't want your room checked that bad, you could have just... You know what, I'm sorry. I, I promise I won't go check the room. Just don't... You, you don't have to be so harsh. Kill him! All right. <laughs> I am not a traitor. I forgive you. Um, guard set down that guard. Captain, um, <laughs> I'm going to go to my room. Please don't. Annoy me or my friends. Uh, <laughs> come on, guys. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, I seem to have forgot where my quarters are. I just want this set of stairs. <laughs> Correct. Oh. How about you let me escort no. you up there? <laughs> Don't make me a Please. You. I'm concerned for your safety. <laughs> I'm concerned for your loyalty to this throne. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. I won't bother. You just yes, it's up the stairs. Should be down the hall, last door. Great. Bye. Come on, friends. <laughs> I just want you guys to come along. I'll bring uh, some guards up there later to be posted. Uh, yeah, just don't come in. 
<laughs> we will not go in. I'll instruct them myself. Awesome. What, what about what about me? Be- before we leave, I'll ask the captain if he knows a guy uh, by the name of Braun Lunadrin. Why do you want to know that name, that man? Uh, he killed my father, and I would like to have some choice words with him. <laughs> well, <Choice> he's <laughs> dark. He's retired. Um, and he's not currently in the city, but he owns a farm nearby. Of course I know the man. That's, he's me. <laughs> <laughs> Gas! <laughs> okay, uh... I'll... Yeah, here, um, he'll take out a small piece of paper and write out the, the directions for you. Thank you, sir. He's a bit of a cranky old man, just so you know. No, dude. Um... Right, uh, so all of you go up yeah. the steps. Yeah, the stairs I, unbothered by the guards. Yeah, I I told them as well that Sora is. We're going to take Sora with us as well. No, me. No, sorry. you're Sora. I am Sora. <laughs> sorry, me, Gwen. All right. Um, oh as you, yeah, as you get up the steps, you're now out of uh, earshot from the guards, and there's only one door at the end of this hall, and it's about yeah, it's at the end of the hall. Right. Hey, so Gavin, uh, <laughs> did you ever get that dragon blood? We're out of earshot, you said? Yeah. You're out of earshot. Oh. Listen, I think, all in all, this was a success. Nathan's just like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Guys, it's, it's me! You. Me, Iglis! It's, <laughs> it's Sora! Oh. I, <laughs> I'm still me, Iglis! <laughs> So the defense like, oh, he <laughs> still doesn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, just... you hear a loud poof, bellowing bang, and the whole like palace shakes for a couple of seconds. Um, as you look out a uh, window down the hallway, you see another explosion uh, went off on the first level of the place, and it should have been stopped by now. Um, at the end of the hall, you can hear what sounds like, um, almost like little bubbles popping. And you can see, like, flashes of light come through the creaks of the door. Before we go in, Thanos, just gonna catch you up. We tried to kill Gavin. (laughs) He ran away, and now we're gonna go kill him. Why would you try to kill him? Does everyone except me forget the entire conversation with the dragon? We're supposed to kill him. I don't. To, to free the, thank you, to free the dragon. Who gives a shit about the dragon? This city is full of people. Yeah, the, a bunch uh, of assholes. The dragon's my master and I'm the one in charge right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> I will call the guards. <laughs> Call the guards, Gavin. I dare you. No, here's the the, the thing is, we got our money. I'll give you your hundred gold. I mean, Sora will give. You, I mean, Gavin will give you your hundred gold, <laughs> and then we. It doesn't matter because we're gonna kill Gavin. A hundred gold. And then we'll have a dragon on our side. Gavin pro- promised us three thousand gold. Oh, he did. Okay, fine, we're gonna go in there, we're gonna get our 3,000 gold, and then we're gonna Ooh. kill him! Was it actually 3,000? Fuck. That you <laughs> son of a bitch! <laughs> he I, dude, I got an extra so shaft in. I'm <laughs> so excited about my extra gold piece! <laughs> Alright, here's the plan. Never I, <laughs> I will... We'll kick open the door. Oh, wait, first unlock and these fire. chains. <laughs> I'll, use, I'll use whole person. That I'll, didn't work. I'll use fire. Fine, you know what? We might as well wall a fireman and then just uh, I'll use divine smite and I'll murder him. We should rest so I can get my spell slot back. <laughs> I think there's time for rest. Oh, that's fine. Never mind. <laughs> I just won't cast magic. <laughs> So, please you. unlock my chains <laughs> so I may fight. You have I, this moment to make preparations. Do I have the the keys to unlock this thing? Maybe, maybe not. You don't. Probably not. I uh, just uh, use my thieves tools to unlock it. I use my thieves tools to unlock it. <laughs> boys, <laughs> boys, please, no fighting! <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, roll. 
A d20, I guess. That's uh, 13. 13. Yeah, with... Uh, or Wait, sorry. Uh, that is 15. 15? Yeah. Uh, you've used this set quite a lot, these set of thieves tools, so you know how to work them in most locks. And as you um, begin the procedure, it only takes you like a little under 30 seconds to completely undo the lock. And you hit a satisfying click, and the door kind of pops open. Just so. I was knocking his handcuffs. Oh, oh his handcuffs. Yeah. That's my bad. Um, well, no, yeah. you unlock the door. <laughs> and you unlock the handcuffs. Okay, you sure, you unlock the door. The door. <laughs> yeah, six. You're still locked up. <laughs> Damn it! As you take your thieves' tools in there, that this lock is a lot smaller, so it's a lot harder to hit what you need in order mm. to pop the lock. Eighteen. Uh, this time, uh, second time around, you just go a little. You put a little more force in. And a little more pinpoint accuracy, and then cl- click, and the shackles fall off. All right, and I draw my glaive. And I'm like, all right, let's get this son of a bitch. Um. Yeah, any, anything you want to do? Well, I'm still, I still have a Gavin. You do? Um, any last preparations? You it lasts for, last for an hour, so since I cast it, how long has it been approximately? Like 30, 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, I'm still going to be... <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> um, How many spell slots do you have left? That was it for... I have you hear various... Uh, almost like deep speech. Although you're not sure what deep speech sounds like, but it, it sounds very dark and bellowing and um, a lot of clicks in his words. So do I assume this is like evil? You get an evil vibe. It definitely doesn't make you feel good. <laughs> I knew Gavin was the bad guy. But you don't know who's in there yet. Okay, I'm just here for my coal. I can't believe we forgot he owed us 3,000 gold. <laughs> that was so dumb of us. <laughs> so what now? Who opens the door? I, uh, I, open. I'll kick in the door. Well, you're going you <laughs> to kick, kick the door? You unlocked it just to kick it. <laughs> Well, like I unlocked it and then I'm gonna like kick it, kick it, and just draw us in. Um, okay, um, you immediately kick the door open. And it goes slamming into a bookshelf. Um, that bookshelf actually rattles and a bunch of books falls down. Um, immediately, the speech stops, and you see there's a lot of dark mist on the ground that begins dissipating, and a lot of this room seems a lot darker than usual, and it begins to lighten up again. You see that there is uh, Gavin. Winningham, um, and he has the dragon's blade. It seems like he's used half the bottle already, but you don't know what for. But in front of him is a big cauldron, and immediately he looks at you with like these dragon eyes. I threw my dragon. <laughs> that is where we'll leave off <laughs> this session of Nat Twenty. It's just how it started. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs>